Hi team at Spark Heating. My name is Parker and I work for YAG SEO. We are a marketing agency here in the Edmonton area. And after talking with Shelly on the phone yesterday, I thought I'd shoot you guys over this quick video going over three things that you can do today to start beating out your competition online. Now I don't want to waste any of your guys' time and I don't want to waste mine either. So if by the end of this video, if you like what you see and if you'd like to know more on how we can help grow your business online, then give me a call and I'd love to have a chat. If not, then no harm, no foul. You can take these tips that I'm giving you today and put them into action for your business as soon as possible. Now let's get right into it here. The three things I'm going to be going over are content, citations, and backlinks. And the first thing's going to be content. And that's basically anything you could see on your home page, including pictures, what pictures are saved as, and what's saved behind the pictures as well. So for example, if I were to go and save an image on your website here, you can see how the file is going to be just named photo there or another image I try and save file is also going to be named photo there so you can actually go and save every single individual image on your website as different keywords and phrases so for example this image can be saved as Sherrod Park heating this one can be Sherrod Park air conditioning or any type of keywords or key phrases and that will help you guys out because people are constantly searching for those keywords and phrases when they are looking for your types of services on Google. So that is one side of content. The other side would be the, the words themselves. And as I keep on scrolling through your website here, it does look really good already. However, we strive to have at least 1500 words on a home page alone because that really helps with getting optimized by Google. And that helps you throw in those keywords and phrases I'm talking about to a much bigger scale. Because like I said, the more keywords and phrases you have, the easier it is for you guys to be found on Google and to be ranked higher. Now, the second thing I want to go over are citations. So you can see all I searched for were sh was, sorry, Sherrod Park HVAC services. And quickly before citations, you can see these Google guaranteed ads, these companies actually had to go through a verification process to get them guaranteed on Google. And if you guys were ever interested in doing advertisements, I would definitely consider going through that process as well because those advertisements up here seem to bring in a lot better traffic than the traditional ads you would see down here on Google. Now that's it for ads. Back to citations here. Your citations are mainly going to take place down in the map section here of Google. And all the citation is is a business's name, address, and phone number listed into different directories throughout the internet. And if you're wondering what a directory is or how can you guys get put into them, well, to simply put it, all a directory is is a website out there allowing businesses to enter their business information and services. So a few examples of those would be Yellow Pages or Yelp or LinkedIn or even Facebook has a directory for citations. And all that's going to do for you guys is give you another avenue for people to reach you and find your website. And a good strategy that we like to use is to look at the competitors in the area and what directories they're currently using and what citations they have because there is a good chance if they are working for them already then they also could be working for you guys. And you don't want to just go out and get what your competition would have for citations. You want to go out and get a lot more than them so that way you can eventually outrank them and find yourself on the map section here. Now the last thing I'm going to be going over are backlinks and that will take place more down here on the organic part of Google and all a backlink is essentially is another website that is linking back to you guys saying that you offer heating and air conditioning types of services so all that's gonna do for you guys is bring in a little more relevance and more keywords for you guys to be searched for on Google so with this tool that we like to use called a refs I can actually see the amount of referring domains and backlinks and organic traffic a website would be bringing in monthly so I already have you loaded in here and you guys have 50 referring domains right now giving you 312 backlinks and you're getting 17 organic clicks on Google a month it's telling me now if I look at one of your competitors here you can see they have 249 referring domains giving them 2.5 thousand backlinks and a total of 167 organic clicks on Google every single month. So you can really see just based off where you're ranked on Google, there's a lot more traffic and business you could be bringing into your website if you are ranking higher because of course a lot more people are going to be seeing your website if you are ranked higher on Google. So I can actually click on the referring domains of your competitor here and I can see every single website that is currently linking back to them, giving them the authority and relevance in the marketplace and on Google right now. 
So like citations, there's a good chance if a lot of these domains and backlinks are working for your competitor, they also could be working for you guys. And like I said earlier, you don't want to just go out and get what your competition would have. You would want to go out and get way more domains and backlinks than them. So that way you can eventually outrank them on the organic part of Google as well, because that is the ultimate goal in the end. You want to be outranking your competitors on all aspects of Google. So I do really hope that this video has been informed for you guys. Like I said at the beginning, you are free to take these tips and go running with them and try and put them into action for your business today. Or if you would like to know more on how our team at Yag SEO can help your business online, then feel free to reach out to me here and I'd be happy to have a conversation with one of you guys. Now, just as a side note, our main goal is to first add value to every business we work with. That is why I'm making this video for you here today is to add value and give you some tips. And we do really try and build and establish good relationships with everyone we work with. We're trying to establish long-term relationships here. So with all of that being said, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I do hope to hear from you guys soon. If not, then I wish you the best of luck in the future with your business and take care.